Okay, hey everyone, my name is Taylor Lawson. Thank you for joining the DevOps World Jenkins World Lisbon preview. Hope all of you are having a good day. Presenting today's presentation is Lauren Hall, Tracy Miranda, and James Rowling. We will save some time at the end of the webinar to answer any questions you might have, so please utilize the feature. Uh, it's on the chat box. At the conclusion of the webinar, we will also send you an email that will contain a copy of the presentation, the recorded video, and a link that we are planning to communicate to you. So thanks again for joining. We really hope you enjoy today's topic, and please take it away, Lauren. Hey, guess where I'm ready to go? Yes, DevOps World, Jenkins World, Lisbon in Portugal, December 3rd to December 5th. Amazing session in the best conference in Europe for DevOps. Amazing people to meet. So I'll see you there. Bye bye. All right, so just a couple of quick words from Sasha, our CEO, but uh, we just wanted to give you all a quick rundown of what DevOps World Jenkins World is. For those of you who haven't attended before, maybe you've only been once or twice, um, we've got a great conference planned this year. It's our second year in Europe, um, hosting the event in Europe, and we are excited to be in Lisbon, Portugal. So. Um, like I said, just a quick rundown of everything we've got planned so far, um, and as Tilly mentioned, we can, we'll have time for questions at the end, so please um, feel free to submit those as we go. So DevOps World Jenkins World is a great event um, if you're looking to kind of cover everything between in the DevOps industry, the Jenkins community, and all the good stuff in between. Um, we've got keynotes, we've got breakout sessions, workshops, and training courses, and we've also got lots of great opportunities to network and meet people from different companies, different um, industries than you um, to share ideas and uh, best practices across the industry. And there's also a lot of opportunities to grab some really cool swag while you're there too. So everyone loves that. Um, like I said before, we are headed to Lisbon, Portugal this year, and we will be hosting the event at the Lisbon Congress Center, which is down by the river. It's really beautiful. Um, lots of great space there and lots of awesome things planned inside the venue. This is a breakdown of what the three days of the conference look like. Uh, Tuesday, December 3rd is sort of our pre-conference day. We've got a lot of training courses available as well as workshops. So the training courses will be full day courses and then workshops are either two or four hours depending on the content. Um, we've also got a contributor summit on Tuesday. Um, Tracy will speak to that in a minute. And then um, the event officially kicks off with a welcome reception um, in the expo hall that evening. Um, we'll start our keynotes on Wednesday morning, so we'll have keynotes both Wednesday and Thursday, uh, followed by the Expo Hall being open, lots of breakout sessions to attend, and then a few other things going on. Um, we also have an evening event that is themed uh, the Super Party this year, so it's all focused on the everyday superhero in organizations, so um, lots of really cool superhero-themed things to do at the evening event on Wednesday night, and then we'll wrap up the event um, Thursday afternoon. Training courses and workshops, like I said, are taking place on December 3rd, um, so that's the Tuesday. Um, we've got five different training courses available that are full days. You'll see those listed on the left. Um, these are each 350 euro per course, um, so you can add those onto your conference pass um, during the registration process, or if you've already registered, you can still add these onto your conference pass now. Uh, these are deeply discounted passes um, for training courses compared to what they cost, um, generally speaking, online. Um, so this is a really great value if you are attending the event or thinking about attending the event. We definitely recommend adding a training course um, because of the value that you'll get um, by doing that on site. Again, we'll also have workshops. These are two and four hour courses that take place on Tuesday, December 3rd. Um, we have those listed here, what we've got planned so far. So we've got five different workshops to choose from um, in varying lengths. Those are each 49 euro um, per workshop and those can also be added to your conference pass during the registration process. So um, you'll see an option to add any of these on before you complete registration. So just keep an eye out for that. If these are interesting to you, um, please feel free to add them. I'm gonna hand it over to Tracy to speak to the Contributor Summit that we've got planned um, at the event. Thanks, Lauren. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Tracy Miranda, and um, I'm gonna tell you all about the plans we have uh, just before the main event. So CICD is just a really exciting place to be right now, and open source is at the heart of it. 
So if you're like me and you love open source, or even if you're just open source curious, then the Contributor Summit is the place to be. So what happens there is we have um, the Jenkins and Jenkins X communities and it's a chance to mix and learn with experts as well as newcomers and just other members of the community. We welcome all types of contributors. So you don't, uh, you know, you don't just have to be a code contributor. Um, and we, you know, it's really good to have people from different perspectives. So if you're interested, um, sign up and just join us on the day. And really, it's all about, you know, driving the future of the project and um, putting our efforts to work together to see where things head. And if that's not enough for you, um, we're also on the Monday um, before the Contributor Summit, there's also a Jenkins Hackfest. So if you really want to get stuck in with the coding, you can bring your laptop along to that. The so details of all of these can be found on the agenda for the conference. And if you go to the next slide, um, some more community oriented things. So Jenkins is 15 years old um, this year, and we're going to celebrate that uh, starting with the community keynote at the main conference. So Kosuke Kawaguchi, creator of Jenkins, will go through the highlights and how Jenkins has made a real difference, um, even in unexpected areas. Plus, he'll also be giving a glimpse of things to come. So 15 years, it's a really incredible achievement and it's going to be a momentous occasion. So naturally, we're going to have cake. So we really hope that you can be there to help us celebrate. Thanks, Great. Lauren. I'll hand over back to you. Oh, awesome. Thanks, Tracy. Uh, so yeah, um, kind of going along those lines, we've got a couple of great keynotes planned. Um, one of them will be focused on the 15 year celebration of Jenkins, um, along with a lot of other great speakers from CloudBees. We've also got a couple of folks speaking from um, Google Cloud Platform, Redmonk, um, and then also VMware and another representative from Google will be speaking as well. So lots of great people on the stage this year. Um, we've got a really dynamic lineup. Uh, to hear from during our keynotes. And again, those will be on Wednesday and Thursday mornings to kick off each day. We've got lots of breakout sessions planned as well. You can check those out on the conference agenda. We've got all the details listed there with um, session titles, abstracts, speaker information, all that good stuff. But we've got everything organized into a couple of key topics across the DevOps industry. We've got those listed here. So those are sort of our tracks and how our content is organized. Um, but again, lots of probably, I think we've got about 50 unique breakout sessions this year. So we're excited to share a lot of that content with you all on site. Um, the breakout sessions will also take place on Wednesday and Thursday at the event. James is also on, so I'm gonna hand it over to him to give a little rundown of what his session at the event is gonna be like. Thanks, hi. Uh, yeah, so actually I was just looking before this call um, and this is the most, uh, for, for Jenkins World in, and DevOps World in, in Lisbon, it's the most Jenkins X talks I've seen actually in one place. So I'm just going to be super excited, I guess, not just for uh, for meeting people, but also seeing that sharing the, the experiences people are, are going to feed in and talk to us about there. Um, there's, uh, we've got talks from CloudBees engineers. Uh, Gareth Evans is doing a talk around supercharging Docker builds with Canico and Scaffold. And we've also got one from Cosmin as well, who's going to be talking about, around uh, Jenkins X with a um, focus around security as well. Um, we've also got lots of people from the community as well coming to share their experiences, how they're using Jenkins X actually in the real world experiences. Um, there's also Greg Barber from Google, who also works in the Jenkins X community. Some of the advancements for Jenkins X for GCP. Um, and if and nobody's actually seen uh, Victor or Oscar um, talk or uh, interacted with them before, it's a great opportunity to see them too. They're going to be doing some workshops and they both also have some talks as well. Um, they actually work, work out in the community, but they also work with customers as well. Um, they really get that feeling and they uh, always give honest uh, feedback as well. So uh, I would seek them out if you get the opportunity to. Um, with me and James, we're going to be there. We're going to be doing something around the latest and greatest of, of Jenkins X. Um, it's two, almost two years on now from, from Jenkins X. So there's uh, been a huge amount of uh, features that have been evolved, but also a lot of efforts around stabilizing and you know, working out what features actually work and uh, work well, and what we need to ex uh, explore more on. Um, and that's really come along leaps and bounds this year. Um, we're 
going to try and do this talk in a bit of a fun way. Um, we're going to try and do a live demo right from the start and make it as interactive as possible. Um, there's going to be a lot showing a lot of the new features, but also uh, because of the, the stability areas that we've been addressing for the last 12 months, um, or improvements, I should say, then we really get to show that off with this live demo. We're going to be installing the Jenkins X um, and we're going to be bootstrapping a, a, a Kubernetes cluster, setting up TLS and DNS and creating different new kinds of quick starts. I'm going to really kind of show and talk people, take people through the journey and then even deep dive down deeper into, um, because we might like to make it interactive, you know, dive down into specific areas. So uh, we're really, really super excited about this. But then there's also the booth area as well, which we just love to have a geek chat, even if it's not just about Jenkins X, but could be about anything around Kubernetes and microservices, containers, different languages, pretty much anything geeky, then we're, it's just, uh, we're really looking forward to, to sharing and, and talking uh, with everybody we meet. Great, thanks, James. Um, we've got, like I said, over 50 breakout sessions planned. So if James, this seems interesting to you, definitely check out more information on the agenda, as well as information about all the rest of our breakout sessions. Uh, we've got a great sponsor lineup in our expo hall. Um, James mentioned the booths, so we've got lots of great booths that'll be in the expo hall. Um, starting on Tuesday evening at the welcome reception and throughout the rest of the conference, um, you'll see our current sponsors listed here. And this list continues to grow and likely will um, until we get on site. So a few pieces of information about getting there and um, what it costs to attend the conference and what you'll need to do in order to do that. Um, we've got a template that you can use to help convince your boss to send you to DevOps World Jenkins World 2019. So it's a really easy template that you can download and customize to fit your needs and help explain the, the value of attending for your organization. So you can focus on topics that you're seeing on the agenda that are important to you or your team. Um, different companies that will be represented on site um, from a sponsor perspective that you'll be able to connect with face to face. Um, and then it's also got a place where you can list all of the great training and certification opportunities that are available to you only if you attend on site. So um, we definitely recommend using that resource if you're still trying to convince your manager to let you attend the event this year. Um, that's a great tool to do that. Um, here's some information about our conference passes. The full conference pass includes everything that happens, um, starting with the welcome reception on Tuesday evening um, through the end of the event on Thursday. So that's any of the evening events, keynotes, expo hall, conference meals, and breakout sessions throughout the two days on Wednesday and Thursday. Um, as I mentioned before, if you'd like to add a training course or workshop, those are add-ons to your conference pass, and the rates are listed there um, below the, the conference pass table. Um, so keep those in mind as you are registering for the conference um, and just seeing where those land um, in the registration process. Uh, keep in mind also that we do include a free certification exam voucher in every conference registration. So if you sign up for a full conference pass, you do get access to a free voucher to take a certification exam either on site at the event while you're there, or you can take it post event um, at a testing center that's near you. Um, but since you all are all attending today, we are excited to share a exclusive discount code with you that gives you a conference pass for only 575 euro, which is a really awesome discount compared to what the current pricing is of 1100 euro. So um, the code that you can use to unlock that rate is preview. Um, so when you go to register, you'll be prompted to enter a discount code. Just type in preview and that will discount your pass to only 575 euro. So you could register for a conference pass and add a workshop or a training course and still be under the current rates that we're offering online. So it's a really great deal, really great discount. We definitely recommend taking advantage of that and registering with that awesome code. Um, we have our conference hotels that are available. We've got really great rates at a few local hotels in the area. Um, those are listed here on the right. We've got um, rooms at the Corinthia, the Mercure, and the Novotel um, with the rates listed there. Um, our conference blocks are closing soon. So they're closing um, next Monday, October 28th. Um, once those rates expire that we've negotiated for our conference attendees, the rates almost double. Um, the going rates online. So if you don't, if you're not able to register before the 28th, the rates will significantly increase. So do register now and add your conference hotel to your registration when you book. Um, all the information for conference hotels 
are is available on the conference website. You can also access it on your registration confirmation page when you register and you'll receive a link to any of the hotels in the confirmation email as well. So lots of places to find that. If you have any issues registering or any questions about getting a conference hotel added, please let us know. We're happy to help you. Um, like I said, these are really great rates and we also have um, conference shuttles running from these hotels each morning and afternoon. So um, that's an exclusive deal that you'll get if you stay at our conference hotels versus any other hotels in the area. And that is all. So um, like I said, quick rundown of everything we've got planned. Hopefully that was helpful in um, helping you understand what is going on at DevOps World Jenkins World 2019 in Lisbon. Um, we'll be sending these slides out afterwards as Telly mentioned, but at this time I think we're going to take a couple of questions from you all. Um, so if you haven't already submitted a question, go ahead and do that and then we will get to as many as we can. Hey, so one question I have here is, when is the last day to reserve hotels? Last day to reserve hotels is next Monday. So um, there are a couple hotels that may extend a couple days beyond that, but the last day that we can guarantee the rates is October 28th. So mm -hmm. still have a couple of days to do that and over the weekend if you still have plans to make, but we do recommend getting your registration and your conference hotel reservation in as early as possible to ensure you're getting your um, ideal nights um, for check-in and check-out and the, the hotel room type that you'd like. I also see, do we provide certification exam vouchers to registrants? Yes, yeah, so if you register for a full conference pass, you will get the certification exam voucher. Um, we'll distribute those in the next couple of weeks to everyone who's registered and then continue to distribute those as people continue to register over the next few weeks. So you'll receive an email um, with a voucher code and information on how to um, either reserve a seat on site or um, it'll direct you to where you can take an exam post event as well. Cool, and last is, uh, will there be shuttles from the hotels to the conference center? Yes, yeah, so we are running shuttles from each of the conference hotels that I mentioned. Um, they'll be running each day, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So um, we'll have a shuttle schedule. They'll be running on a loop in the mornings before the first session begins, and then a few minutes after as well. Um, for any of you who may oversleep a little bit, but we will run um, a couple of loops in the morning, a couple of loops in the afternoon, and that will be going directly from the um, conference venue back to the hotels, um, and then they'll continue to loop until everyone gets, gets back to where they need to be. So we'll have a couple of different routes um, just based on where the conference hotels are located. So you'll see a shuttle schedule um, that will be available to you before you arrive on site. And then we'll also have it posted on site at the hotels and at the conference center. Okay, uh, actually just got one question in right now. Uh, may you please explain, please bring a photo ID with you upon arrival. Please note badge reprints will be for a 300 euro fee. Yes, so our conference badges are important to hang on to. Everyone has to have a conference badge while they're on site. Um, that's part of the, the requirements from the Congress Center. Um, so you need to bring some sort of photo identification to identify who you are to receive your badge when you first check in. That can be anything, um, just a official issued identification that has a photo of you and your name that matches the name that you are registering or checking in for. Um, so just as long as the name is the same and the face is the same, that's what we need to see. Cool. Thanks. And uh, did they ask about the badge reprints would be for a 300 euro fee? Yes, um, that's the fee to reprint the badge. So hang on to it. Um, <laughs> If you lose it, that we'll just have to we have to charge the fee to reprint the badge and recreate that on site. So very important piece of information to hang on to. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, thank you, Lauren, for that. I appreciate it. And yeah. uh, so everyone, just thank you so much for taking the time to participate in today's webinar. We really appreciate this, and we hope you learned something about DevOps World, Jenkins World. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to the CloudBeast team, and we'll reach help you out. Oh, sorry, <laughs> please reach out to the CloudBeast team and we'll help you out to the best of our abilities. As stated before, we're going to send you a copy of the presentation uh, after this webinar with a video attached to this of this video. So thanks again. Hope you guys have a great day and hopefully we'll speak soon. See you guys.